Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Yanu, back with another YouTube video, and today's YouTube video is going to be about how I got a black eye. Well, it's technically not a black eye, but that works better for clickbait, so uh, let me stop trying to explain myself and get right into the video. Okay, so this story was literally like two days ago. Very, very recent. So I was on a camp with my youth group. It happened to be the same youth group where I fought that kid a few months back. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I was on a camp with that youth group, and the first few days of the camp were alright, you know, doing normal stuff, and the thing that's important about the first few days of the camp is there was this dude, okay, and I didn't really know him that well, he was like a friend of a friend, and his name was, we're gonna call him JFK, and uh, that wasn't his name, his name was another group of initials, anyway, so JFK was pretty cool. Uh, he had this hair that would like go over his eyes so you couldn't tell whether or not he was sleeping or awake Which was kind of funny sometimes But yeah, once again, he was a friend of a friend so I got introduced to him through another friend And my- the friend that introduced me to him was actually my Asian friend Whose name- what, what do you even call him? Wang that, that wasn't his name, that's just my boy Wang So I'm talking to JFK and getting to know him. And over these few days, I actually really start to enjoy uh, JFK's company. But the important part here is not JFK himself, but actually his girlfriend, who we're going to call Mary. Yeah. So, JFK's girlfriend, Mary. Uh, she was alright. I mean, she was cool enough. It wasn't like I was always over here like, oh, damn, I really want to go hang out with Mary, but she was pretty cool. And she wasn't the first girl that uh, my friend had introduced me to, my friend Wong, because he introduced me to quite a few people. He was really good at meeting people, I guess. But, yeah, so he was. she was probably one of the better girls that he had introduced me to. Like, she wasn't weird or anything. Uh, but anyway, so she was hanging out with her boyfriend, JFK, and the other three of us just ended up vibing for a few days. And I really enjoyed talking to JFK, as I said. And yeah. So when it came time for the tent to come on the first day, like we had to decide tent groups for where you were sleeping. So luckily I got put into a tent group with my boy Wong, uh, JFK, and some other boys who I was who ha I happened to be acquainted with. So uh, me and JFK and Wong and the others were hanging out in this tent that night when all of a sudden I heard an unzip. And the unzipping was actually coming from the door closest to JFK. So I look over, well I say door, but it was really more of a strap, or not a strap, a flap with a zip around it, you know, tent doors. And the door opens, and it is Mary, there to come hang out with JFK. And also something I think you should know is although I've called Mary JFK's girlfriend, they don't actually like to acknowledge the fact that they're basically boyfriend and girlfriend. So that that's going to come in very important later on. But yeah. So, uh, the two of them come over and Mary comes to JFK and they start hanging out. And then girls weren't supposed to be in a boy's tent. And boys weren't supposed to be in a girl's tent. So, uh, we have to keep quiet about it. There she is, she's over here, hanging out, and I ask her, so if you guys are just friends, why did you come into the tent to cuddle JFK? And then she says, because it was late at night, I wanted someone to cuddle, and he doesn't mind cuddling me. I think those were her words, don't exactly quote me on that. But anyway, they're vibing, and yeah. The thing about JFK, as well, is that he liked to sleep a lot. Like, he was kind of like... I don't, I don't mean to be rash when I say he was kind of like a sloth. Like, he liked to sleep a lot, but when he was awake, you know, he kind of... Actually, that's a terrible metaphor. Okay, he's like Sid the Sloth. He likes... To, from, from Ice Age. He likes to sleep a lot, but when he is awake, he's really energetic. So, yeah. He falls asleep relatively quickly. And I'm vibing with uh, him... Actually, no, he's asleep, so I'm vibing with the girl. You know, talking to her. And she's like, yeah, you know... Uh, we're hanging out, of course. Of course, I had no interest in this girl romantically, of course. Like, she was JFK's girl. That wasn't over here trying to slide. But yeah, she was fine to talk to. And that, that, that's all that matters. So, eventually, Wang's like, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to bed. And I roll back into my sleeping bag. Now, the next day, 
I wake up only to discover absolutely nothing. Like nothing weird happened at all. It was actually a really normal night. So the next day goes on and I, I get I get closer to JFK. You know, we start we keep hanging out and I do some stuff at this camp like paintball. They had cage football. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but uh football yeah, I really enjoy playing football. In my opinion, football is the best sport. And I'm not talking about that American football gridiron crap. I'm talking about real football. The one with the little white ball and the black dots on it. That is football. Okay, and if you say anything different, then it doesn't really matter. But at the same time, it's called football, okay? I don't, I don't want to hear anyone in the comments saying it's called soccer. If you say it's soccer in the comments, I will find your IP address and drop off a football at your house. Okay? Okay? Anyway, so I was playing cage football and I kind of sucked at that game. Basically what it is, it's like this UFC type thing. You got like a really small UFC type cage and you basically play football in it. And it's like little goals and stuff and a little ball. And it's one on one and the winner plays on and you play the next person in line. So yeah, it's a pretty cool place to flex your skills on people. But I didn't have any skills. So I kind of got clapped up real quick. Like, easy claps, because there was this one kid there who was a striker, and another kid there who was a goalie. If you don't know about football, it doesn't matter, I'm going to stop talking about it now. But if you do know about football, try try cage football sometime. It's really fun. Anyway. So, uh, after that day goes past, we go back to our tents for the second day. And this day, I decide to sleep a bit closer to the boys JFK, Wang, and his girlfriend Mary. And I wake up the next day... And I'm told that I was snoring really loud. And I go, oh, really? Was I? And apparently I was snoring really loud. Because the thing is, I kind of got cold that night. So my nose got a bit blocked and I started snoring. And also I find out that uh, they put, that Mary put a slide, like a Nike slide. Or, uh, or a slog or whatever you call it. Like those little jandal things that Nike makes. You know, where there's just the one strap that goes over your foot. Yeah, whatever those are called put one of those on my nose while I was asleep. And that morning I woke up with cold sores around my nose. So I can't tell whether it was because I was sick or whether it was this, me sleeping with a slide on my nose and sniffing in all the dust. But, you know. So that that was the, the first, uh, um, you know, indicator of things to come. So after this happens, I, uh, later that night, I come again and we go back to the spot. And then I say, hey, you coming to call JFK again to marry? And she slaps me in the forehead. Not super hard, but, you know, just to sort of say, like, hey, stop it, I don't like it. So this should have been my warning. But the day passes and close to the next night comes. And, you know, JFK and Mary are vibing being just friends. I I'm doing air quotes right now, but you can't see them. And they were playing this game that friends obviously play, right? Uh, air quotation marks again, which you can't see. But yeah, they're playing this game that friends play where they were kissing each other on the neck, basically. So you have to try and lick the other person's neck three times without them licking your neck three times. Yeah, pretty weird game for friends, air quotation marks again, to play. Anyway, so because the, the, the people who were like organizing the camp like are leaders, they were close to figuring out the fact that she was in our tent. And she wasn't supposed to be. She said, I can move my stuff back to my tent if you want to JFK. And then JFK said, no, stay. And that was where I made my absolutely fatal mistake. I said, oh, look, he likes you. Now, how do you think she responded? At the very most, you would think that she maybe slapped me in the forehead or something again. But no. Uh, I said that. And then I turned around. Only to be met with something hard hitting the side of my cheek. Just under my eye. So I get hit with that, and all I know is it starts hurting. So I put my hand over my face, and I start to tear up in my right eye, because I got hit close to the left. And I start to tear up in my right eye. For some reason, not the left one. Because I think that was... Well, I mean, the left eye was closed, so that's probably why. But I start to tear up, and then JFK goes, Oh crap, what did you do to him, Mary? And then he runs over, and he comes and says, Dude, move your hand away, move your hand away, I need to see. And then... He says, so I move my hand away, and then he looks, and there's blood coming down my, just under my eye. And he goes, oh, crap, you didn't have that before, did you? It's just, just a question to JFK. Bruh, of course I didn't have it before. If I had it before, you would have seen it, my guy. It's a very notice, anyway, let me, let me not rant. But yeah. 
So he goes, oh, you didn't have that before. And then he looks at Mary. He goes, Mary, why would you do that? Uh, and then Mary gets all fussed and she's like, I'm going to go now. So Mary goes off to her tent. And basically, I spend the rest of the night talking to people, telling them about the eye, what happened, and all that. And yeah. So I actually go end up going to visit the doctor a little bit later. And it turns out that it, it wasn't a black eye. Even, like I said at the start, it wasn't technically a black eye. I just used that for clickbait. But basically, she threw this phone so hard that it caused me to form sort of like a mini black eye. And it, was, it wasn't technically my eye, it was actually just under my eye. So if he, she had thrown it a bit higher or a bit harder, it would have been permanent damage to my left eye. So, uh, as somebody in the line for the doctor told me, I got a cool story and a working eye. And as he also said to me, not many people get to have both. So we're probably going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like the video. Like goal is like three likes, you know, pretty low. I think we can reach it. Uh, so three likes on the video, and I will release the next story time. Also, if you guys have any good story times, be sure to email them, email them to me at my uh, email channel. Email address. Uh, the dot noob dot on dot tube six nine at gmail.com or DM them to me at my Instagram Luke the second. Uh, also, I am doing a giveaway, so if you are interested to win a free can of Coca-Cola, all you have to do is uh, subscribe to the channel with no D's on, take a screenshot, and DM it to me at my Instagram Luke the second, and I will be giving that away uh, pretty soon, probably tomorrow. But yeah. So if you are interested in that, please do the DM and stuff. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.